Getting sucked into a black hole with Enigma's new Aghanim Shard? Don't worry. A simple right click anywhere, followed by zero movement, will stop you being sucked in. If you hit S or movement stop, you will start getting sucked in again. If someone stuns you while performing this trick, you will also get sucked in. Nice little trick. Timbersaw can see through the fog behind trees when using Timber Chain on them. This is only for a brief moment, but can give you enough information to decide on your next move. The recent patch introduced a few passive abilities that can be upgraded with Aghanim Shard. Zeus's Static Field, Spectre's Dispersion, or Visage's Gravekeeper's Cloak. Thing is, you'd think Rubik would be able to steal all of them, but he can't. He can only steal Zeus's Static Field. For the others, he'll steal the spell that was used before the passive. If Rubik does not have Aghanim Shard, the Static Field will also be worthless for him, as he can't activate it. This one is interesting. When Rubik steals the Dark Ascensions from Nightstalker, he actually steals the Dark Ascension that was from patch 721 and before. This means that Rubik does not get any unobstructed vision when he is flying, and if he has an Aghanim Scepter, he has permanently unobstructed vision. Meaning, even though his Dark Ascension isn't active, he gets unobstructed vision. Mars's Spear of Mars will push enemies through Kinetic Field. I'd advise not to use Spear of Mars if your Disruptor has landed the perfect Kinetic Field Wombo Combo. Especially if you got Aghanim Shard. Got a Slark on your team, and a Winter Wyvern on the enemy team? Be careful. Slark actually steals agility from you, and even gets permanent agility if he kills you during Winter's Curse. This is more of a PSA rather than a trick. It's come to my attention that a lot of people doesn't know that Riki with Aghanim Scepter actually hits two targets with his Tricks of Trade rather than the normal one. I don't blame you, it doesn't even give you this information on his tooltip. So when you see people buy Aghanim Scepter, this is why. Because combined with Battle Fury, it's quite strong. Rubik's Stolen Walrus Punch does not go on cooldown until the attack actually reaches the target. That means that Rubik can hit 2 or 3 crit attacks if he has enough attack speed or attack range. Only the first hit will toss the target, and the others will only crit. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, if you liked it, please like, comment and subscribe, and if you got some tips of your own, submit them at the link in the description.